what's up everyone welcome back it's been a while since i posted to this channel and i'm glad you guys are still with me so today today is uh what, june 4th and uh, i'll be uh heading off to my first triathlon sprint race uh, out in milton so i'm just getting ready getting my bike ready and all that fun excitement stuff but uh yeah it's gonna it's gonna be a fun one uh, my sister is also coming along to spectate but yeah i'm just getting the bike ready taking off all the unnecessary um things to to uh, lose some weight but it's gonna be a good time it's gonna be hopefully nothing <laughs> hopefully nothing breaks because i have nothing i have no recovery gear on the bike so uh fingers crossed it should be a good day so uh the race consists of a 750 meter swim 30 kilometer bike and uh seven kilometer run i believe or seven and a half kilometer run something like that but uh, it should be a, a quick day quick fun day also have a couple other friends coming out uh dave is doing his first uh, uh triathlon and then uh, Kelly, who is also another veteran in the sport. So it would be uh, good uh, chasing them around the, the park at uh, Kelso. So yeah, it should be a good day. Um, the bike is ready. Uh, I had a lot of hiccups uh, probably the, uh, the last four weeks. I had to uh, do some overhaul, uh, new bottom bracket, new chain, new wires, everything. Everything was just totally worn out and the bike was not metal. It was malfunctioning the chain kept on falling off and you know the ride was horrible so got it done it was pricey but uh <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do right because the big race is coming up at the end of the month in mont uh for the 70.3 uh probably be my last uh iron man yeah probably my last iron man for a while uh just uh it's just not i just don't have the time for it and uh but you probably see this bike on Facebook marketplace soon once that race is done and yeah it's uh, it's sad it's sad to say <laughs> sad to say I don't know I maybe I don't know it's still in the air I do have another bike in mind it's not a canyon um, I can't talk my way one of the sales guys at uh, Via Ciclante talked me out of, talked me out of talked me out of it and uh, I'm looking at another bike currently uh, which is available um, so <laughs> not like the canyon bikes which are in Europe somewhere and they gotta ship it over here build it do whatever and then ship it to you so yeah anyways that that is uh, the gist of it but yeah I'll be uh, running around today biking swimming uh, all the fun stuff uh, the weather is uh, I don't know if you can see well you know what you'll see later it's gonna be a really nice day there's a slight headwind uh, northeast headwind so uh, it's gonna hamper my uh, climbing skills a little bit maybe or heading north at least but uh, yeah it's gonna be a good day water or temperature not sure but it's gonna be cold I'll probably have to wear my um, half uh, half suit I was planning to wear nothing uh, no uh, no suit, but uh, looks like it might be too cold to go without it. So, anyways, I'll uh, see you at the park. All right, take care. Two sixty-seven. Shining your life away. The best waivers design. 267. Excited about this morning? Yeah. That's awesome. A little cold, but. First one? When you go, you'll be. And the water your. Vong. Vong, yep. So it's good. Alright, thank you. What color is your white? Okay, 
My, my race, uh... What? Oh, your oh, the belt. Yeah. Well done. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Just making sure, and then you have to take Okay. Perfect. I know. Go. Have fun. Thank, Thank you. you. Have an amazing race. The water's lovely. It's coming. Well, apparently the water's nice. We'll see you when you take a dip. Head to the finish line. Don't be afraid to pop over and say hello. Lots of friends to this see. This is what happens when you take a 10 year break from tent. this race. Please put your bike in the transition zone, then make your way back through registration. All right, so we got our shoes. Look at that. Got my goggles. Great. At least I remember my shoes. Shoes are right here. Uh, you have to remember your shoes. Huh? <laughs> you have to remember your shoes. <laughs> yep. Woo! Getting airbrushed. Wow. Everyone has like two bottles, full bottles of water. I know. You only have one. I think that's it, huh? Oh yeah, wetsuit. I need to put this on. 267. Let's see, let's see the number. Okay, 267. <laughs> ah, 10-year hiatus. Open your goodie bag. See that there's nothing in there. <laughs> Look nothing, at this. There's nothing this in there. This is so sad. Times are rough. I should just use. Uh, See if it's nice quality. No, it's not the. It's thin. Yeah, it's not the zone three. Oh, everything's so cheap now. <laughs> Helmet sticker. This goes on here. Isn't this fun? Don't you miss this? Uh, it's stressful. It you have butterflies in your stomach? Nope. I will have butterflies in this time. Okay. <laughs> I'm not that young. <laughs> okay. Hi. Start another group. He uh, bring the convertible apparently. Really? Got a punch yesterday. Couldn't get it fixed. So. Uh oh. Mm. You're all registered. Yeah. So you just got.
Good morning, athletes. Welcome to the Subaru Triathlon Series uh, season kickoff here at Milton. Very excited to have you join us. Please make sure you've gone through registration, and then you come back past the transition zone, up the hill, and then go out and finish off the 7K run course. Do out the leads. You know what? I haven't even tested this yet. You're probably going to fit in it. 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 You're and then at the Subaru Triathlon Series on. for a women event goes uh, Saturday <laughs> and uh, Sunday, the should, should, August uh, 12th and 13th. And then the season yeah. wraps up, the Subaru Triathlon season wraps up Saturday, September the 2nd at Guelph Lake Conservation yeah, Area. My name's Greg, I'm at the start finish line here on the left there. A couple of bumps to be aware of yeah, and a fit. little bit of asphalt issues there to be very aware of on the, the water yeah, side of the, the, the run course. And you're going to yeah, run back by the transition zone, part of, past the porta potties up the hill yeah, there and then we'll see you at the finish line smiling for finisherpicks.com. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I don't need to put this on. Yeah. Okay, if it's Oh, what a dismal transition, folks. And as you can see, we are on the bike portion. Unfortunately, I forgot to turn on the GoPro and have no footage of the climb up Six Line Hill. So here we are. Um, we are just short. I think we're just past like the nine kilometer mark. And shortly, you will see Dave blow by me. <laughs> Just like that. Um, there, that. There he goes. There he is. Look at him. Fresh as a daisy. And look at his leg spin. And like I mentioned before, this is his first triathlon. And he is looking good. And we are about to pass the 10 kilometer mark. And we hit this, this bottleneck right here. Whoa. If you look to your right, you already see uh, a rider already walking up the hill. And shortly, this guy just totally cuts off everyone and decides to get off his bike and walk as well and David and myself are just like what the f and we you know we just totally slowed down and then we had to pick up our pace again and just killed the momentum my left my left calf was like what the hell are you doing to me and uh, you know I was like no nope, I'm not gonna chase Dave today um, I came out of the water with a cramp in my left uh, left calf. I'm not sure if you noticed I was limping and in transition, but uh, yeah Anyways, I'm not chasing Dave. He's already gone and we are just uh, Approaching 20th side road and I'm gonna make a left here uh, just a little Loop around the top and then we're gonna 
head back down to Kelso and yeah I've been having a dismal kind of day um, my bike uh, computer is pretty much useless um, the the Garmin multi-sport did not mirror over <laughs> and I had no no wattage I couldn't see my wattage and it took me a while before my uh, bike computer came uh, came back online because uh, you know riding racing and playing with computers is not a good thing so but yeah here we are we are on I think this is 15th side road up just about to uh, turn right and um, head back down south uh, into uh, Kelso uh, Park this uh, whole section I believe it's about uh, eight kilometers or so um, it's pretty much all downhill as you can see here I've already caught up to Sean Chin another great racer he is training for uh, Ironman Muskoka which is gonna happen in what uh, a month or so my sister will be participating in that as well but <laughs> while we were watching this earlier she's like oh you're just drafting Sean uh, like no tomorrow I'm like yeah there's no officials or I am uh, you know I might as well uh, rest up a little bit and enjoy the draft for a while and but eventually I do uh, pass him and uh, he'll, he'll pass me we've, we've been playing uh, cat and mouse uh, pretty much uh, since uh, fifth line uh, while we were coming back and uh, this uh, this is a pretty short portion before the last hill as you can see up front um, the last hill before we head uh, head back down on the, the big climb and uh, that is a very fast portion as you can see other riders are already uh, powering up the hill uh, standing up and powering it up before it plateaus and then uh, we uh, head back down this is a really fast section um, you, you got to be careful there's like an open section and uh, as you see I just uh, get back into air just uh, pick up trying to pick up some more speed before we actually hit the, the start of that downhill but like I mentioned that open section you can get the, the crosswind sometimes and there is actually a crosswind from the east so I was a little hesitant to uh, completely stay in aero um, yeah I didn't want to uh, get, get blown off uh, so, yeah, so here we are we just uh, the beginning has a little, you know, a little boost right here just to get some more speed before the drop which is the, I believe it's coming up right after this yellow sign. Uh, you see the other rider in front of me just uh, disappear. I believe that's it. Uh, wait. Yeah, well, okay, here we begin because that was the queer entrance to the quarry. And this is the first drop um, before it plateaus again, which is coming pretty quickly right about now. Yeah, so right here it plateaus then you have this open section where you get some wind from either the west or the east and today it was just the east and then oh there goes Sean again blowing by me <laughs> again and then I went no, right now it's plateauing and then we're gonna head uh, do another drop right here and uh, yeah before we hit um, Campbellside Road to make another left oh, yeah, so this is 25 kilometer mark and here we were just the all breaking I was pretty much feathering that breaks pretty much the whole time I didn't go in the arrow and avoiding accidents and here we are we're just uh, turning left onto Campbellville and, and then a short uh, one or two kilometer ride before we hit Tremine and then we head back into the park um, to, uh, to transition once again here we go, here I am with uh, Sean again and uh, just uh, and get a little bit of draft and uh, yeah. <laughs> pass him and then he passes me again and then I pass him again. <laughs> here we are, we're turning back into the park just behind this uh, other rider. Um, didn't pass them, it was pretty much a very short uh, section, like a very narrow section and bumpy as you can see the roads. It is not paved, the roads were horrible and you know, here we look at it, look at the roads. Couldn't, you can't really do much, it's just bumpy all the way and then we finally make it into the finish line, uh, into transition and uh, yeah that was a good, uh, good uh, 
30 kilometers. Um, you know, I didn't kill myself, nor did uh, I, I aggravate my calf, but it was, I can still feel it. Here I am just getting off the bike. I'm still not uh, a pro, like jumping off the bike and uh, you know, running off. My sister was on the side and cheering me on, and here we go into transition. There's my split time, uh, 56 minutes, that 32 kilometers an hour, and I'm just like wobbling. You can see me um, right here. Um, almost clipped this sign right here, and then what did I do? I think I almost ran ran into someone. Uh, whoop, whoop, right there. <laughs> I had trouble uh, clipping my bike in. Had the offic official come and help me turn the bike around because, uh, yeah, see, <laughs> had to turn the bike around. I couldn't get it around. So. That was it. Took me a while, and uh, off to the run, guys. Together, how to go, gentlemen? David Stark, congratulations on your finish. John uh, Ganesarelli, congratulations on your finish. Smiley, Tri Motion Circus is actually the relay champion. Wong Hong Wong is down the finish line. Arnold Cian, congratulations to Jack Zayamba. Thank you for putting these up. Jamie! Keep going, keep going. Let's go. Your bike was good. I crashed out of the swim. Good stuff, buddy. Oh, I cramped. Came on. I couldn't record. Where did you cramp? No, what part? The legs? Oh. Oh. Shit, 159. Did worse than. <laughs> Yo, guys, welcome back. As you can see, I am uh, home now, all cleaned up, and uh, uh, I'll just uh, do a quick uh, overview of the race. Um, today's race wasn't that good, it wasn't to my expectation, but I got it done, you know. Lots, lots to, a lot of things to correct. Um, you know, a lot of newbie mistakes that uh, shouldn't have happened, but it's been a while, right? So uh, right from the get-go, from registration to setting up my transition, um, forgetting things and what to do, what what not to do. You know, I it was a blur to me for some reason. Um, but hey, I got it done, uh, and I uh, wasted a lot of time. I wasted a lot of time in uh, transition one and two so uh, well that uh, you know I, I could have saved about four minutes so probably would have came out at the same time um but uh you know uh, what it's done right you know i finished off with uh 154 chip time um and my fastest uh, my previous time back in 2012 was 148 so uh, you know that you know, if I would have uh, smartened up a bit, I put it probably been a little bit closer. But you know, hey, it's been a while. But uh, yeah, but uh, overall, the day was perfect. It was nice. It wasn't. It wasn't hot and humid like the past few days. It was just. It was cool. Nice breeze. Um, the water temperature was amazing. It was around uh, 20 to 25 degrees uh, at certain spots of uh, the lake. So it, it was good. Um, I had really good swim. Uh, I didn't swim off course, so I just swam off, swam off by 0.1, so I was a uh, 7.51, not 0.1, uh, just 1. <laughs> uh, I didn't do like uh, a crazy uh, 4.2k like I did in uh, Mont Tremblant back in 2019, so but I was on course. And then the dreaded, uh, the dreaded um, cramp in the calf uh, popped up at near the end of my uh, swim where I was coming out and all that, and then it kind of hampered me throughout the race. I couldn't, I couldn't recover uh, most of it. I, I couldn't recover from it. Um, I was pretty much babysitting it, uh, like trying to avoid, avoid, you know, <laughs> blowing up, totally blowing up. But I did manage a uh, decent uh, bike ride, uh, 32 kilometers an hour. Uh, so and not bad, uh, better than before. And then the run, the run was horrible. I was 
run, walk, run, walk, run, walk, and you know, you know how the cramps are. You know, you run a bit, and then it just kind of clenches up, and you know, it does its thing, and then you know. So I was just babysitting that throughout the whole run. So yeah, that was that was it. But I had fun, lots of fun. Uh, you know, saw Dave blow by me up the well not after the after the six line hill. He just came by and just went by me. So I couldn't I couldn't uh, keep up with him um, with this cramp going on. So, but uh, kudos to him. Great race for him. His first uh, sprint, first triathlon, and he did amazingly well. So yeah, congrats to him and the rest of the guys, Dave and Peter. <laughs> well, I didn't think Peter was actually gonna come out, but he did come out and it was, it was good seeing and seeing the crew, except well, Rom didn't come out. He had some other plans. But yeah, yeah overall, it was a lot of fun. Just fun, you know, heckling each other, chasing each other and all that. And yeah, hopefully uh, we'll be uh, doing this soon, uh, maybe throughout the summer um, after my, uh, 70.3 and we can uh, just have fun just you know do these smaller races because it is it's a lot more it's a lot more doable and a lot more fun when you can actually see each other on the course uh you know when you and you out and backs and all that but yeah i had a great day not not the best not the best performance but uh it was you know good to get all the jitters out all the mistakes out so it won't happen in montreal blanc in three weeks from now and uh yeah <laughs> fingers crossed i don't i don't mess up uh that race and then uh you know i'll never live you know I'll ne ne never live that down man so but yeah big thanks to my sister for coming out uh most of the videos you've seen earlier are all by her she was running around chasing me you know trying to find where i was and big thanks to her for coming out to spectate doing the sherpa doing the camera work and all that big thanks to her she is also uh, racing in July, uh, Muskoka 70.3. So uh, we are actually heading up to Muskoka on Saturday, this coming Saturday with, uh, with the PR Endurance um, training cramp. So that's gonna be fun. Check out the, the, two, the, the swim, the, the lake, Ferry Lake. Check out the course and then do the, the dreaded ride. Well, it's not that, it's, it's all right, not as bad, but it, it is, it's still a tough ride. And maybe I get a, a run in. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'll, I really want to do that run because that run is definitely one of the harder runs. Um, that that major hill at 14k. It's it's like ingrained in my head. Every time I think about Muskoka, 70.3 is that that hill. Everyone just walked up the hill. So, anyways, thank you, thank you guys for uh, coming along. And if you did enjoy the video, please hit a like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. I'm definitely going to be doing more videos. It's, uh, it's time to get back into traveling and uh, go from there. All right. Have a good one, guys. See ya.